So I gotta ask you a question. Have you ever been in a situation where you're convinced that everybody around you thinks that you are crazy? Well, if you could handle that, or maybe even liked that situation, being a field biologist may be your calling, because this is something that you are frequently faced with when you go to uh, beautiful tropical destinations, but instead of vacationing there, you do science. Uh, which in my case means I am frequently in hardware stores looking for obscure pieces of hardware to build crazy looking scientific materials to use to understand coral reefs. Uh, this was true in French Polynesia where I think the hardware staff there thought I was insane with the amount of PVC and cinder blocks I would buy to then do science in the coral reef. Uh, and here in Thailand it's the same situation. So. Let me give you the backstory real quick. So Heather and I have been banging our heads against the wall to try to think of creative ways to study these large, highly mobile reef fish schools that we find in this ecosystem. And while swimming over these schools very frequently, we discovered the schools weren't responding to us, um, likely because we were pretty far from them, uh, high in the water column, and they're used to people. It's a highly uh, snorkeled bay that we're working in. So we thought, why not take the fear frame approach but make it mobile. So if you're not familiar with the fear frame, we basically mount a bunch of video cameras together onto a structure, and that allows us to look down on the reef and monitor all of the reef fish behavior that's happening on the reef, including foraging behavior, social interactions, stuff like that. So um, we dreamed up this idea, drew up a schematic. The next step is get all the PVC to build this baby. So after painstakingly building the frame, we discovered that there was an issue. We needed this thing to be neutrally buoyant, and it was currently negatively buoyant. It would sink to the bottom. This could be a real problem for the operator. It's a big piece of equipment with a bunch of cameras on it. You can't have that thing sinking to the bottom. You also can't have it shooting to the surface, so it really needs to be neutral. And this was a big challenge. It was the sort of the biggest challenge of creating this. Fortunately, we have a MacGyver-minded like friend here who suggested, why not take a child's boogie board and chop it up into tiny pieces and stuff it right into the PVC. That could allow it to float a little bit, counteract the negative buoyancy, um, so or lack of buoyancy. So we did this, because we didn't have a better option. So after mangling this formerly adorable child's boogie board, we discovered that this was actually the exact solution that we needed to make this frame float perfectly in the water column to allow the operator to swim around and collect all sorts of footage with our GoPro video cameras mounted to it. So now this next step is just get out there and collect a lot of amazing footage. So stay tuned. 